Apart from the pure acoustic modeling, which gives us the amazing acoustic piano sounds uh, that we get from this instrument, of course, there are lots of other sounds, more than 300 other sounds, and lots of other bits and pieces, a metronome, a two-track recorder. It even acts as a Bluetooth speaker. I mean, if you're gonna go to the trouble of having a cabinet like this with the speakers in it, this has got, you wanna send your, uh, your Spotify to this and listen to it, just amazing. Also, a great thing if you're transcribing or playing along with something, you can have the sound come out of the piano along with what you're doing. There's also a, an iPad app made for this instrument where you can um, edit lots of the parameters on the piano and so on right on the iPad. That's all great. But what I wanted to just quickly show you was some of the other uh, sounds in here, particularly the electric pianos, because um, I do tend to use those quite a lot. There's the classic 1976 suitcase. Have a listen to this. It's got that nice hard edge to it when you get stuck into it and it'll still be mellow. Really responsive. Also, you've got your, uh, your vintage EP. Much more mellow sound here, really nice. And there are lots of those in there. Another handy thing is to be able to split the keyboard and put one instrument on one side, one instrument on the other. That's been around for a long time, just not with sounds this good. Uh, one I like to use is to uh, have the acoustic piano on the top half of the keyboard and put an acoustic bass and a ride cymbal together uh, on the uh, bottom of the keyboard. I can do that sometimes when I'm playing solo. Also, even on a gig with a band, when the rhythm section drops out and you take a solo chorus, it's very cool to be able to bring the bass and drums back in and they don't even move. It confuses the audience. It also annoys the bass player and a drummer, and you don't want to miss a chance to do that as a pianist. But all jokes aside, have a listen to this. I split the keyboard, I can choose my split point, and I've set this up uh, with bass and cymbal on the left and the American Grand on the right. Very cool. Another function is to be able to uh, use layered voices or dual voice, which is to put two sounds together. And a common one to use there, of course, is uh, piano with strings. Uh, makes that lovely sound, a string section following you um, as you play something on the piano, perhaps. 